today we are going to do very interesting case. This is the transpositions of ulnar nerve. So this is a medial epicondyle, and we'll put a incision along. First, we'll palpate the ulnar nerve, and then we have to make an incision according to that. And this, the most important things is we have to protect the subcutaneous branch of the brachial nerve, which is around 3.5 centimeter down from the medial epicondyle in the crossing in this pattern. So in this case we have to do under tourniquet. So let's inflate the tourniquet and skin incision and come back to you. Incision. You have to be very cautious at this because it's in the subcutaneous plane. So so let me explore and then come back to you. So after the skin incision, we created the flap anterior and posterior. So, and this is the medial epicondyle and this is the cutaneous branch hopefully this is the for forearm which we are trying to protect and now I can easily palpate the ulnar nerve here so after that I am going to open this ulnar tunnel and after exposure we will see you back. Okay. So now this is the ulnar nerve, it's a bit more anterior you can see because we are exploring on this side. So always try to trace from the distal to the proximal if you are having any doubt here to find out the ulnar nerve and we are just releasing this. So you have to release from all the surrounding structure. This is the face here over this. I'm going to try to cut this one, remove this extra portion. This is the lateral intramuscular septum, sorry, medial. So we will remove this, we will make a little bit up also. Okay, so. From the distal also you have to see and we have to mobilize the ulnar nerve now. So just release from all the surrounding structure before going anything. There is one branch here going on the extensor surface so that here at this level so that's you have to take care so let me explore the nerve completely and then I'll come back so we have explored the ulnar nerve now and now we are going to make a tunnel for this so this is the medial epicondyle over this this is the pronator teres tendon and just we'll mark with the flap to raise the fascia around two centimeter just release it from here and another one you can say from from these two level so just we release it and make a tunnel and pack it back yes so 
now we are doing the anterior transposition so we have created the two flap one i'm going to stitch here and this one is two here and we have already done the decompressions we will reach the fascia over this so i can easily go inside here and up also best thing is always release the intramuscular septum so you can see clearly and now i'm going to put the stitches so it's a bicrel and then our job will be finished okay stitches now we can see this and this nerve is anterior now remove this one it's a loop so after that we are going to close the skin we'll take some vicryl and then we'll close the skin so always check for the any tension i can see feel that this is very much relaxed here you can see also and this side also see it's very loose if you feel anything down just separate it from the surrounding structure and this is all done so now i am putting some subcutaneous stitches uh, with the vicryl and then uh, we'll go for the subcutaneous skin closure so this is the final stitch i'm going to put subcutaneous Actually, at this level, I am avoiding the stapler or uh, other kind of stitches. And after this, we are going to do the dressing for the wound. So after the skin closure, I am going to put the 80 milligram of methyl prednisolone. That will going to reduce the inflammation and further fibrosis along the nerve and that will help in the any kind of recurrence and reduce the inflammation in the nerve and which is going to help in the healing. So thank you for watching this video for more surgical videos please do subscribe and like the channel if you have any queries related to this procedure. Please comment. Thank you.